Ladies, gentlemen, it is your amazing hoster, it is Team Rai Rai. And how are you doing on this Friday's edition? I am doing very well. Anyway, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and my own Facebook page. The link will be down below, or the article will be down below. If you really want to be a part of the Rai Rai show for a future episode, Please message me. The link will be down below for my page. Double click it, please. Um, then DM me. Then you and I can make arrangements for a future episode. We can discuss about any kind of topic you please. But don't make fun of the host. That would be a bad thing. Not a good thing. Okay, now I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like... Sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject, and of course, the article will be down below. Let's rock and roll. Okay, you may heard about this news already, because probably you... You follow WWE on Twitter, or Instagram, or any other social media accounts, or maybe you not heard about this news, you might live under a rock. I'm just kidding. But anywho, WWE took to Twitter on Thursday night, announced that MVP suffered a broken rib after taking an RKO from Randy Orton on Raw. According to the company, he will be out of... Action, definitely. I don't know how long is it going to be out of action. It does not say. Probably until he is, his heel, until his ribs heal. You can't have surgery for ribs, can you? I don't think so. You just got to heal up. So, um, I'm assuming they're going to mention this tonight in SmackDown. I know it's a raw thing, but they could still um, mention it. Or they might just... Save it until next Monday night, you know. So that sucks. So get well soon, MVP, if you're watching this video. So, um, I wonder what's gonna happen with MVP once he returns. Hmm, I heard a rumor, just a rumor that maybe, maybe they might. Bring back the Hurt Business. Well, in the first place, they should never got rid of that group. So close to Mania. That was stupid. It really was. I really liked the Hurt Business at first. I thought I'm not going to like the Hurt Business. But now, it grew on me. Now, when they broke up the Hurt Business, Sean Benjamin and um, the other guy, I forgot the name, was not doing squat ever since the Hurt Business broke up. So that is W's fault, not those two athletes, you know? W makes some horrible, horrible decisions. This one was the nail in a coffin. It was horrible. I love the heart business. Now what's next? When MVP comes back, is he going to re re recruit the members of the heart business? Maybe make them more stronger? Who knows? Now do you remember, off the record... Evolution, the original members of the Evolution. Do you remember? You know, I think Randy Orton was out of the action for a while, and it's like they really didn't have a full Evolution members until everyone was healthy. You know, and then they replaced that one guy with De Batista, and that was a great addition. At first, I thought this group was gonna fail. But it grew on me, you know, but Triple H has so many opportunities back then. It was so ridiculous. Then eventually, Randy Orton won the championship at SummerSlam 94. Not 94, I'm sorry. 04. But before that, he won a Bear Royal on that Raw. And whoever wins that will get a shot at Chris Benoit's title. At SummerSlam 
2004. So Randy Orton won that match, and then he had a celebration the next night Raw. Then Triple H turned on him. They had a decent feud. Then before you know it, fast forward, 05, when De Batista won the Men's Royal Rumble, and it was a classic match. He was going to go for a Raw or a SmackDown. So the thumbs up or a thumbs down. And it was awesome. The whole storyline between Triple H and Batista was classic. And then eventually, Evolution just fizzled away. You know? It was awesome. I love... I don't know what was a better storyline. The Triple H versus Ray Norton storyline. Or Triple H versus Batista storyline. You know? It was it was great in a way. They, the reason they want to do that. Because they want to gel new talent. And they did that. They don't do that too often. Anymore. You know? So. That's all I got to say in that. So. I don't know what's going to happen with uh, with um, with MVP once he returns. Is he going to remain as a heel or is he going to go back to a face run? I prefer him as a heel. He's a great as a manager for Bobby Lashley, you know. Now, when he had a um, cane, was he really injured or is that just part of his new character? I think he was got injured a while ago. I'm not too sure. So... I guarantee that MVP will find a way to get revenge on Randy Orton. Probably he's going to reform the, um, the Hurt Business and take out Randy Orton for good. You know, just strong wise, you know. We'll find out, we'll find out what's going to happen in the near future. I think we'll come back sometime in October probably. MVP. That's just my um, theory. Have a good one and I'll see you guys tonight. Like, subscribe, leave a comment and have a... No, have a Hit the notification. I'll see you guys tonight later. And sorry about the rush of the video. Please forgive me.